DVDs, DVDs. Where are the awesome DVDs in the Blu-rays? Today I am in Fizzy Belden Village. I didn't even know this was here, but here's another Dollar Tree. We are going to head in here, hopefully find some awesome DVDs and Blu-rays. Never know. This is a pretty busy area, so I highly doubt we're going to find any good ones in here. But you just never know. Maybe they got a shipment in today. All right, let's do this. Oh, look at this, right in the door. Droids escape from Tatooine. That's pretty cool. Look, they got the new floor in this one, too. Remember that one we went into the other day? I think it was Alliance, where they were just working on the floor. Has that same smell in here. Okay, I couldn't help but notice this. Check it out. They got all their Halloween cards up. Oh my gosh, I'm happy. I'm a happy boy. <laughs> I just love Halloween so much. Okay, I'll save it for another video. I'm sorry. Let's move on to the DVDs. Look at this. This is cool. They have fake coins here. So if you were going to have like a, a pirate movie night, Pirates of the Caribbean or Goonies or something like that, you get a whole bunch of those. Get a treasure chest. You could probably find a cool one over at uh, Goodwill or something and make a whole thing on the table with a treasure chest and, uh, and doubloons around it. DVDs, DVDs. Where are the awesome DVDs in the Blu rays? <sighs> Children of the Corn Party. Up and down all the aisles looking for the DVDs. Where are all of you DVDs in the Blu rays? This is not a love story. Hmm. Starting to get concerned because I'm not finding any DVDs. Although, here's the automotive aisle. Sometimes they're in here. And they're not. But they got Best Buds socks. They gotta have them. What in the world, man? I don't think I've been to one Dollar Tree yet that hasn't had at least a very small selection of DVDs. I hear this stuff is good to clean the Blackstone Grill. So I should probably get some of that. But look. We have Pinchers of Peril from the Goonies. Pinchers of Peril. I always thought they were called Pinchers of Power. Remember when uh, when Data is falling down in the cave and he lifts up his, his sleeve and shoots the teeth up and it goes and clamps on and saves him. Got a slinky attached to it. Okay, this is the, uh, the candy and snacks aisle. It's aisle seven, but the girl just told me if they have any DVDs, it'll be down aisle five and i think that's the one we were just in with all the automotive stuff so i'm gonna look again yeah here we go all right let's just look very carefully here where are you dvds i believe i was even singing for you in this aisle where could you be dvds where are you yeah i'm just i'm not seeing any at all guys that is really strange I've not been in any Dollar Tree that has not had a couple DVDs at least. Oh my god, I was wrong. Here they are. <laughs> There's actually a good selection of them, a whole bunch, unless all these turn out to be Assassin's Creed. Let's start with this one right here. Oh, short term 12, crap. I right, see one here. Oh, no, we have seen that one. All right, I have a feeling. The Big Take, American Violence. Somebody told me that one was okay. What's that? Let's see. Please. Let's see if we can't find some good ones here side by side. What's this? Outrage again. Assassin's Creed. Ah, somebody said <laughs> I should just buy one and then I'll finally stop getting haunted buy it. Paradise. Russell Brand. Hmm. Not seen that one anywhere else. A lot of these are just the same East Side Kids. That's an old one. 
Let's stick with the Blu-rays for now. There's that Christian Slater playback again. The Gangster, Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed, side by side. What's this, Assassin's Creed? Okay, so let's just confront the Assassin's Creed thing for a minute. And as soon as I pick this up to do that, it's not Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Brotherhood of Blades. I think I've seen this in other ones, but I'm just not really interested in it. And you know what? It's probably a really good movie. It probably is really cool, but I'm just not going to get it. Okay, so, Assassin's Creed Lineage. Now, what I understand this to be, because I did a little bit of research. Uh, let's see, the movie prequel to the blockbuster video game franchise. From what I understand, this is just a very short movie. And it's supposed to be kind of like a segue between two of the Assassin's Creed video games. And I've never played Assassin's Creed. I don't know what it's about at all. So getting this movie would not tell me anything. <laughs> it wouldn't make any sense to me. But for anybody who's asking what it's about, that's what I understand at least. And it must be horrible. Either that or they way overshot crave hmm edward furlong okay i'm getting this i love edward furlong i don't care if he is a junkie um <laughs> they way overshot on how many people would be interested revolt here's one i haven't seen hmm i don't even know who's in that i might look at that but yeah they probably thought oh there's millions and millions of these kids playing video games we'll sell out of these things in a second and just made way, way too many. Let's see if there's any other treasures in here before we give up. Looks like they're all Assassin's Creed. Unfortunately. Yep. Yeah, that's it. And the rest of these are just, uh, wait a minute. Here's a couple I don't think I looked at. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, so Revolt. The art on the package actually looks really cool. Set in the war-ravaged African countryside, an American soldier, Lee Pace, and a French foreign aid worker, Bernice Marloni, Mar I don't know, team up to survive the alien onslaught. Aliens are cool. As they journey through the battlefield in search of refuge, their bond will be tested when a soldier discovers his true identity. Um, yeah. The art looks cool, but I'm not going to get it. But this one, Crave definitely going to get. I love Edward Furlong. Also has Josh Lawson and Ron Perlman. He played Hellboy. So, yeah. Definitely getting this one. It's not a home run, but uh, I don't know. I haven't seen it in Edward Furlong. So we'll do it.